Hello everybody, it's Jonathan, Senor Smoke from uh, Curto's The Ring of Fire. Welcome to beautiful and bucolic Yonkers, New York. And uh, I'm sitting here, it's uh, December 23rd, and uh, we're nearing sunset. And wow, look at that, three red-tailed hawks off in the distance. And I'm sitting here with the Primo smoking away. I wanted to post a video, this is gonna be again a, a series of videos um, about the winterization, winterizing your grills for those who are not going to uh, be cooking in the winter. So this yeah. video is really going to be targeted to my um, uh, to my gas grill folks out there. Um, if you have a Kamado uh, ceramic grill smoker, I mean, you really should be using it year round. Um, but the the cleaning process on this is very simple. I'm just, you're just doing what I'm doing right now. You're just letting the thing burn at extreme high heat for about a half an hour. Um, but with gas, there are more uh, there are more factors to contend with. So um, this doesn't matter whether you have a cheap uh, bottom of the rung Weber or you're you know you're you're rocking a Kalamazoo and Alfresco Lynx. It doesn't matter. All gas grills are going to be shut down the same way. Um, for, so first and foremost, let's talk about the cleaning. Cleaning is incredibly important. Your grills, if you are going to shut it down for the winter months. You must, you must do a thorough cleaning. The reason being is that not only um, will your grill, if you have residue from your prior cooks um, sitting there in your grates and in your drip tray, it's going to start breaking down the grill. Uh, your grates are going to start to oxidize, amongst other things. Um, but the other thing that's going to happen is it's going to attract um, unsavory characters, vermin uh, in particular, into your grill. Uh, over the winter months. I mean, they're looking for a place that's warm, first of all. The grill enclosure provides that, but they're also looking for a food source. And if you have all smuts all over your grates and in your drip tray, um, it's a feast. And um, I can tell you, I can speak from experience, a few years back, I did not shut down the DCS grill. I have the correct way. And then when we, uh, when we went to uh, do the, uh, the spring cleaning, we found a squirrel's nest inside it. So um, what you want to do is a thorough cleaning, which is going to entail, again, doing a high heat burning for about a half an hour. Get yourself a good grill brush, and you want to scrape your grates down. You want to scrape your ceramic briquettes down. If you have uh, stainless steel flame tamers on a Weber or a Blaze, something like that, you want to give those a scrape as well. There are some who advocate um, uh, doing a seasoning with, say, like a canola or a grapeseed oil on the grates. I don't really... I mean, I do that normally just when I cook. I don't think you really need to, sh to use that as a, uh, a method to shut the grill down. I don't really know why you would season them in the off season, but, but nevertheless, you gotta have the high heat burn. And you may also wanna look into a degreaser and do a nice um, uh, rub down of the interior of the grill. Again, the grates, you wanna get that drip tray scraped out, get all that, that stuff, because the drip tray is extremely accessible for something crawling in. So the high heat burning, the degreasing, incredibly, incredibly important. For those of you who have a, um, an outdoor kitchen and you're not using propane, okay, or you just have a normal, regular freestanding grill, but you're not using propane, you want to shut off um, uh, the gas line, usually those are going to be found inside or some remote location, definitely shut that down from the propane users, turn the gas tank off, I would actually remove it from the bottom of the, uh, the grill cart, put it, tuck it away somewhere safe. Um, you definitely want all the gas lines shut. and. You want to cover your grill. Um, I, I, again, I can't uh, say this. Uh, you know, I don't know how many times. It's just you know, people have asked me, like you know, do you believe in covering the grill? Does it really matter? And I, I say yes, it does. There are certain very fundamental things that I do to prolong the life of the grill, and that's to clean it and that's to cover it. Okay. And when I say clean it, you got to clean it after all your cooks. Um, it's incredibly important. You'll just these things are. Um, uh, the elements, particularly in colder climes, right, the Northeast and Midwest, again, nature's working against us. They're beating the living hell out of these products. And when you're using high heat with stainless steel and stuff like that, that's going to wear it down as well. So everything is working against us. So we have to do anything we can to help prolong the life um, of our of our, our loved ones. Okay. The one thing you want to be cognizant of also is the um, in your burner tubes, um, there is a, uh, spiders have a habit of using these as nests, okay? Um, that's not really something that I would focus on in the winterization and the shutdown of the grill. It's just going to happen. So, um, um, there probably is a way to block the ports or to block the, uh, the orifice that they could come in on, but I wouldn't even waste my time with that. What you want to do, um, and, why, and by the way, spider nests in, in your grill, in your tubes are actually, uh, it's a big problem. It's actually 
potentially very dangerous because what will happen is there's a blockage and then when you try to light it in the springtime, the nests uh, impede the gas flow, it starts to build up and you could potentially have an explosion on hand. So that leads into the spring cleaning, which I highly recommend. We actually offer that service here at the Ring of Fire. You definitely have to have your spring cleaning even after winterization, particularly to get the tubes blown out because again, uh, little critters, uh, particularly the spiders, will have a, make a, they have a penchant for making nests in there. But don't focus so much of that with the winter shutdown. You'll deal with it in the spring. If there's any, any other questions, you can hit me at Jonathan or curtos.com uh, for those who are retiring uh, their grills for the winter um, um, uh, I send you all the best we'll see you in the springtime and then for those who are part of the fraternity the brotherhood and sisterhood of smoke who let it rip all winter long uh, keep checking in I'll be doing a lot of funky things this winter having a lot of fun and um, uh, please uh, send me your pics of what you're making share best practices and we'll put it out there for the world to enjoy and use Again, Jonathan at Curtos.com, and uh, please hit me up. Merry Christmas. Happy New Year to all y'all.